ahead and open it up for questions for Henry. Henry, can can you talk about your emotions, uh, what, what you're feeling right now? Honestly, I, this sport has this sport has given me everything. You're talking about this kid who 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 grew up in poverty, a son of a son of Mexican immigrants that came to the United States with a with a dream, and that and that dream was, you know, to have kids and raise up here in America. I came back to this sport because I want to inspire people. The person who inspired me for 21 years of my life when I won the gold, wasn't able to attend the Olympics because of her citizenship status. But I came back. And I can only say I'm, I'm sad at the same time, I, I, I gave them all. I went out there, the wake up wasn't easy. Uh, I had many obstacles in my life, especially throughout this whole year, but I'm not gonna say goodbye to the sport of wrestling. I'm done competing, but if anything, I'm gonna say hello. I'm gonna help these guys, I'm gonna help the team, and hopefully whoever makes the team at 121, I'm gonna help them to accomplish their dream. And hopefully they can return the favor and, and, and inspire people. That's, I wasn't meant to be an Olympic champion. I mean, yeah, but for me, it was to use that platform to share my story and to give back. And ultimately, I'm, I'm full of peace, I'm full of joy. Those who really know me, I'm constantly joking. I'm just, it's just, it's just too bad the way it ended, but I'm okay. I gave you my all. Uh, I tried. And, uh, you know, I didn't succeed. There's different goals in my life now. As a kid who grew up without a father, I'd like to be a father someday. I'd like to go back and you know hang out with my family. So much sacrifice that's done in the sport of wrestling, people don't realize. To us, it's not every four years. It's every day, it's every minute, it's every second. So. Henry, the weight cut. How, how, we were here yesterday, Henry, with, with Will and Gardner. He was telling us that, you know, he got so big and he needed wrestling to stay healthy. I mean, he just he needed the sport. You need a sport like that. You need wrestling to still be in your life every day. Do I need wrestling? No. I think what I do need is people. People that need help. That's what motivates me. That's what inspires me to to come back to wrestling, and, I, and, 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 I'll, and I'll stick to it. I ain't come back to the sport of wrestling to be the best. I came back to the sport to, to be the best person alive. You know, why not? Why not? I'm gonna, I wanna use that platform to, to inspire people. So wrestling, do I need it? No. I belong in corporate America. Put me in front of any, any kid, soccer player, a random kid in the ghettos. Put me around those people. That's what motivates me, that's what inspires me. I don't need wrestling. Don't get me wrong, wrestling's, to me, it's the greatest sport uh, alive, but it's made me who I am, but now I'm ready to sort of move on. Still be involved though, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'll say it, I'll say it again. I'm gonna help these guys. Uh, I'm gonna help the 2012 Olympic team to, uh, you know, so they can accomplish their dream. Just like Terry Brass did with me, just like Kevin Jackson did with me, just like Brian Davis did with me. I want to return that favor. Does that mean you want to, you want to train with these guys? I'll train with these guys. I'll train, yeah, absolutely. My arms will be open. I'm going to help these guys. Uh, I'm here. I'm here to help. I'm here to bring back the glory days to America. Most guys leave their shoes on the mat. You threw yours in the stands. Why and what was going through your mind there? Because I do it for the people. <laughs> I'm not here to entertain anybody, really. I'm here. I, I, I wrestle and I do it for the people. So I can keep the I can keep my shoes. I can even sell them on eBay, like most of the guys do. But it's it's not about that. I had a chance to write a book. My second book just came out. Uh, man, I'm blessed. I have the best people around me. Bill McFarland, who I owe my life to. Uh, Brian Davis, who's been there for me. 
my mother, uh, Matt McFarlane, Louise, my family. It's, you know, again, I do it for the people. <laughs> I want to be the people's champ. Not necessarily the Olympic champ, but the people's champ. Four years ago, when you won the gold and you were on that mat, um, did you realize what a focal point of social issues and political issues you would be? And how has that journey been for you in that regard? <sighs> Honestly, my goal in life is to is to stop the segregation. Uh, again, America is built on colors. America is built on immigrants. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're purple, blue, pink, uh, green. It's America is based on where your heart's at. You know, I'm American. And a lot of you guys see me. I may look Russian at this point. <laughs> but ultimately, I like to change that. Uh, I told myself that when I have my first kid, hopefully it's a girl. I'm not going to name my boy America. <laughs> but my plan is to name her America because I, I love this country. I, I'll, I, I'll absolutely die for this country. And uh, I'd like to change that. It wasn't easy. After winning the Olympics, they're calling me an anchor baby that I anchored my mom to the United States. Uh, believe me, I was listening to talk radio. Um, I drive back actually two weeks after the Olympics. They're saying deport him, deport her. Mm -hmm. uh, it bugged me in some way, but at the same time, it's you know there's there's room for us to grow, to change the mindset that it, it's 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 not a segregated country. It's only if you let it. I like for us, for all of us, to unite, hold hands, and and be one. Did it surprise you the reaction, <coughs> the the intensity of the reaction that you got four years ago? How did you? with you know, people made you a symbol for better or for worse. Yeah, absolutely. I, I felt like I've been accepted. I've been accepted because of what I did for my country and the way I grabbed that American flag and the way I you know, grabbed it and just, it's just, it's a priceless moment. I had my dream when I was watching that, the 96 Olympics. It was watching Michael Johnson shatter and break the world record. And the way he won gold and just the way he carried himself with that American flag. That, uh, that changed my life forever. So through this man who inspired me, I get to do the same. So it was just a, a, a very surreal moment because I grabbed the American flag and I, <coughs> and I just cried. So full of emotion, so full of joy that you, you get so emotional, tears start to come out. Talk about the second period. That was a little wild. And did you think you had a chance for it? Yeah, don't, the, the thing is, don't ever cross me out. I can be down by 15, 20 points. Uh, I'll find a way. Uh, fortunately, I did it the third period, but yeah, I'm one of those guys that I'm, I'm, I'm extremely dangerous when you're, up, when you're up against me, especially when you're ahead in points. Uh, again, all credit to, uh, to Simmons. He, he, he did what he had to do. And uh, he caught me that first, uh, third period. Uh, I don't know what it was, but I had to sort of expose myself in order for him not to lock, lock his lock. Because again, I can, I'm okay as long as I don't get attacked. I'll find a way to come back. But he, uh, he did a good job. He did a good job. I credit to uh, to the man. He's he's tough, and hopefully he can. Uh, I'm gonna help him. If he makes a team, I'm gonna help him win gold. Henry, do you think you got enough? Um, did you get enough mat time in the last year? Well, it's not easy. <laughs> I retired for three years. Uh, probably even a little more. I wrote my book. Uh, a lot of speaking engagements. Uh, it was actually through Bill, who uh, my agent, who convinced me to come back. And uh, he said, "Now you can." Just use that platform, do what you want to do at a higher level, at a bigger stage. I said, Pat Bill, you're, you're absolutely right. So it was a whole accumulation of my mother not being able to attend the, the Olympics in 08, as you can imagine. Um, not just, it's, it's not just your typical wrestling match. You're, you're, wrestling, you know, you're wrestling for your dream. And the person was, who, was, who, was in, who raised me for 21 years of my life wasn't there in attendance. So I wouldn't necessarily say it was a bittersweet moment, but it could, it was sweet and it could have been sweeter, but, you know, it, it is what it is, you know, tomorrow the sun's going to rise, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to be happy, um, I'm in America. <laughs> Henry, what was it like going out in front of the best fans in the world, the Iowa fans? Oh, it's amazing, it's amazing, I've had a chance, I've had a chance to uh, travel the world, go to Iran, so I know what this is like, but there's nothing like being in, uh, in Iowa and uh, good, old, uh, good old islands that, that go out there. They just, I mean, I got a standing ovation. I don't know if they know who I am. <laughs> but again, I, I threw my shoes at them because uh, I feel like, you know, they, they, uh, they deserve it. So, extremely humble.
Have you talked to your mom yet? Have you seen her? I haven't. I haven't. So she's all right. I think she wanted me to retire anyways. <laughs> she doesn't like me wrestling. So she said, yeah, after this tournament, I said, Mom, what if I make, what, what if I make the Olympic team? She's like, yeah, I don't even want you to wrestle no more. So it's okay. My mom's a, she's a, she's a, she's a sweet lady. She, she'd rather have us, uh, to be honest with you, she'd rather have us preaching, preaching the word of God. So that, that's her, that's her dream. <laughs> did you Henry, tell her that you were going to retire if you, if you didn't win? I did. I did. If I said, if anything happens, uh, you know, I'm done, Mom. I'm done. What did she, she, she said? She said, she's happy. She's happy because she, she knows what I go through, uh, the times that I'm away from my nieces and nephews. Uh, I'm a big family man. I love to be around my family, my mother, my, my friends. And, uh, Is that why you left Columbus? Is it yes. I left Columbus because I was homesick. I will admit that right now. I miss my family. I've been gone since I was 16 years old. I was literally used as an experiment, I guess you could say, like they, like they do in China. Well, they shift, shift you off to another another state and hopefully you can become an Olympic gold medalist. So that's somewhat what happened with me and uh, happened to strike gold. So I'm still a kid. I'm still I'm still a kid. I still uh, hug my mom, try to cuddle with my mom every night that I see her. Uh, you know, there's a there's a lot to life than just than just trust. Yeah, I mean, you were a very young man. You accomplished a lot. What did you do for the next 50 years? How much thought of that? How much have you done that? Well, uh, absolutely. I mean, my, my goal is to go back to school. I'm currently a junior in college right now. Uh, everything's been online. Finished school, and uh, my purpose in life is to serve others. So that's what makes me happy. That's what makes me, that's what brings joy to my life, and uh, I'm going to do that. You guys may think it's, it's crazy. This kid's, uh, I don't know what, he's in another planet, but once you, leave, once you reach a level of success, if you don't know how to use that level of success, you'll fall into depression. If you notice a lot of these athletes, they go broke, they're depressed. You know, they're still living in the glory days. But that's because they've never found that peace, they've never found that purpose, and that's to give back, that's to inspire. That's to inspire the, the, the Henderson Hoodoo who had no wrestling she's growing up. That's just say, hey man, you're pretty tough, you're pretty good. Let me take you under my wing. That's my purpose in life. But you found, so you found that purpose and you knew that it, whether it was I, I found that purpose, I found that purpose uh, for a while, I did it. I won the Olympics. Me, me, look at me, me. I got my shoe out, I got my book out. It's not about that. That stuff will fade away. That stuff will, you'll be history the next four years. Probably like I am now. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you set yourself up okay financially though? Are you, are you all right financially? Yeah, I, I, I've been blessed. Uh, I've been rolling my money into real estate. Uh, I have a couple of business here and there. Um, so. I think on, on that side, I'm, I'm pretty much pretty much set. So I use my time, I use my business to leverage my free time to go out and talk to schools, to go out and inspire the kid, the, the, you know, the kids, adults, whomever it may be, anybody that needs help. That's why I try to leverage my time. I try to become successful in business so I can do everything that I can for free. And it's been it's been working out pretty good. Did you, did you see yourself? Did you see yourself coaching? Once you, uh, you get your degree from high school or college, is Henry, come on. Uh, <laughs> it's just a, I'll just be a life coach. <laughs> it's beyond, like I told you guys before, it's beyond wrestling with me. I, I owe the sport everything, but then again, it's, uh, I'm, here, I'm here to feed the masses. What do you think you will miss most about competition? Um, just, I guess you could say the jitters. I mean, you go out there, you feel weak. I mean, I feel so strong in my wrestling. You get out there, you're just like, oh, my knees are a little weak. But it's, it's, it's not so much that, I, just the whole, the whole journey of the sport. I mean, there's no, there's no greater sport, and I'll, and I'll say that and I'll mean that. I boxed for, for three years, I boxed against some of the best pros that the U.S. has to offer. There's nothing like wrestling, there's just nothing like it, so. You were prepared for this moment, but is it still a shock to the system? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is, I, I failed. I fell, but then, but yet I succeeded. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold this against myself or, or anybody. I did my best. One, I did my best. Two, I tried. You can switch it up. I tried and I did my best. You know, there's four gold medalists that are supposed to be here. Or three. I'm the one that showed up after three-year retirement. So, it is what it is. I love you guys. <laughs> Don't feel sorry for me.
There's there's much more to Henry than than you know than athletics. There's much more. Are you at peace? I absolutely am at peace. At first, it was a little, you know, I choked up a little bit. I try not to choke up, but I'm at peace. Man. I'm at peace. So thank you. Uh, I want to thank my sponsors who who uh, who put up with me. USA Wrestling, uh, Craig Sasper, <laughs> Rich Bender, Gary Abbott. Mitch Hall, everybody who's, uh, everybody at USA Wrestling, they've, they've taken me under their wing. Uh, my sponsors, Coca-Cola, Ralph Lauren, uh, Procter & Gamble. And I want to thank them for giving me the opportunity to, to share my story. I did my best. I'm okay. I did my best, and uh, I'm going to continue to do my best. So, this ain't the end of Henry Cejudo. <laughs> everybody, just smile for a second. Give you a smile. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. It is what it is, man. Man, I'm on. Te amo. <coughs> is this, uh, Scott, is this, uh, I want to say thank you to my mother. Uh, I know she's, she's back home, but, you know, mom, I'll be back home, and, uh, I can't wait till I get your cookie. <laughs> so, Thanks, thank you guys. guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.